Today we are going to check out the Munich residence in Munich, Germany. It is the largest city palace in Germany. The first buildings were erected in 1385. That's a long way back. And it was the former palace of the Wittelsbach monarchs of Bavaria. Its styles range from late Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, Neoclassicist to Historicists. It's a pretty wide range of styles in its evolution over the centuries. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous, very extravagant, with a lot of intricate artwork everywhere. There's so much to see here. You can easily spend half a day to a whole day in this palace. Compared to the Nymphenburg Palace, which we also have the video of, the link is at the end of this video, this palace is certainly greater value for money. They have different types of tickets. For the Residence Museum ticket, it's 7 euros, where you can see about 90 to 100 different rooms. That's the ticket we bought. And we easily spend 4 hours just looking at these rooms. Our tickets not only include all the different rooms, but also some very delicate porcelain figurines, extravagant tableware, the court church of all saints, and much, much more. Most people spend a lot of time on the top two floors, but don't forget the bottom two floors. When we thought the tour was over, a staff was kind enough to remind us to explore the two floors downstairs because the staircase to the downstairs floors can be easily missed. The other option is to look at the treasury where you'll see the jewels, the crowns, the intricate artwork of this palace, that's seven euros. Or you can buy the combination ticket where you can see both the residence museum and the treasury for 11 euros. For the Cuvier theater, it's 350 euros. If you have a lot of time, you want to see absolutely everything, you can buy the biggest combination ticket, which include the residence museum, the treasury, and the theater for 13 euros. If you don't want to spend any money, you can just hang out at the court garden and fountain machinery. Those are free. My suggestion is just to get the residence museum ticket because that's already so much to see there. They also have the audio guide in German, English, French, Italian, Spanish, and Russian for free. Which is great because the Nymphenburg Palace charges extra for that. Overall, for four hours of pure enjoyment, we only spent seven euros. So it was totally worth it and we highly recommend this palace. So I'm going to stay quiet and let you enjoy the rest of the video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.